Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, small request, please subscribe to the channel. We upload videos on daily basis at 9 am in the morning. Also, I am running a series 30 days of DevOps where I cover all the DevOps topics that is required for like giving good interview. Okay, and getting a job. Okay. Okay. So let's come to today's topic. Today we are going to learn and understand about Maven. What exactly is Maven? How it works? Okay. And what are the life cycle of it? Then we will directly jump into hands-on part of Maven. We will use Maven to build a project. Okay. And run different life, life cycle commands. Okay. Okay. Now what exactly is Maven? So Maven is basically a build automation tool and project management tool. Okay. So we use Maven not only just to create a Java based project, but also to build it, to manage it, to like modif modify different things inside that project. Okay. And then we have Maven life cycle. Okay. Now before jumping to the Maven life cycle, what I want is you to understand the structure of a Java based project. Okay. So uh, as I mentioned, like we use Maven for building, uh, building and executing different commands for Java based project. So let me show you what is the proper structure of a Java based project. Even if you are in college, you might have seen like uh, these two files in any of the Java based project. Okay. One is the SRC folder, SRC main folder, which contains the main logic or the main source code of the application. And then we have the POM file. Okay. POM file is the file which contains information about the application not only information but different uh, properties different plugins different dependencies okay so let me give you a little bit overview okay so here you can see like a different uh, like we have the information about the project okay then we have properties where you can see java version mentioned is 11 okay so this is one of the properties that this application should be using okay then we have dependencies so you can see there are multiple dependencies and in case you are wondering what exactly is a dependency dependency here basically we you can see we have mentioned group id and artifact id and based on this uh, when we execute or run the different maven commands what it does it fetches the jar file of this specific dependency and use it to package the application okay when i say package the application so packaging basically what it does it it builds the project uh, align, uh, I'll package the source code with the uh, uh, jar files or dependencies and generates an output that output is in the format of jar or var file okay and that jar file we we call it as artifact okay and that artifact is the main application which we can execute or run okay which i will show you in a minute okay okay so we have uh, dependencies in our uh, pom file then we have plugins okay these plugins are basically uh, tools or jar file you can say which are which are supposed to perform different tasks okay for example we might have compiler plugin which will be used for uh, running the comp uh, comp compilation on our source code okay so this is the uh, main things in our pom file so i hope you understand what exactly is the pom file what is the point of pom file okay so here you can see like if you want to perform different tasks we can add a plugin we can search for the plugin over Google or inside Maven uh, uh, registry and we can add that inside uh, inside here. Okay. If you want to use a different task, we can add plugin. If you want to like add new uh, different thing, we can add dependencies or something. Okay. So we can modify based on the requirement. Okay. So POM file is uh, used for that. Okay. So you understand the basic structure. Usually like we know when we run the Maven command, any of the Maven command, Maven compile, build or uh, sorry, Maven compile, package or install. What it does first, first thing that it, it does is search for POM file because POM file contains all the information, which dependency is to be used, what plugin is to be used, what is the information, like what is the information about the project. Okay. So whenever we run Maven command, it searches for POM file. Okay. So you understand. Okay. Now let's uh, come to the uh, now let's come to the point where let me tell you how we can create um, Java based project using Maven. Okay, so basic command is this one, but uh, you, as you can see, this is quite long, right? This is very long, and nobody is here to remember this long uh, 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 like a command. Okay, so the alternative way, which I think is a better way, is that you can use this website like Spring Boot. Uh, site you can initialize your project from here okay this will basically give you a basic project which you can modify later okay so you just need to select things like project i want it to be maven based we, i can select it here language java spring boot version let's let it be 3.1.0 
here you can provide different names okay like different details whatever you want your project to have and here packaging i want it to be jar and java version which i want is 11 okay then if you if you have studied java you might know little bit about dependencies which dependencies to use and so on so let's say i want to use spring dependency and let's say i want to use uh, this one uh, spring reactive web and we can just click on generate okay so it will generate a zip file and this zip file what we can do we can extract it and push it on our github okay and then we can use it okay so you understand like how we can create a java project okay one 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 way is to is this to use this command but the thing is i tried this command even it generated the uh, project but there was some issue while executing the project which i need to fix it uh, later okay but the thing is like if i am giving you a session i don't want you to use something that uh, like you need to put put too much effort okay so there is no point in that so if you want to use uh, your own project you can create it here or else you can just fork my own project this is uh, like ready to deploy and it's work it works fine i have tested that's why it's here okay okay now coming to the next part which is maven life cycle okay so maven life cycle is something like which tells you how maven works how building a project with maven works okay so maven life cycle is uh, comes in three parts okay in three ways okay uh, one is clean life cycle then we have default life cycle then we have uh, site life cycle also don't worry like all these commands or whatever i am using it will be available to you in the github repository okay so for devops engineers we are mostly interested in this one default life cycle okay clean life cycle i will share with you like uh, what it does and what it works for okay but let's just discuss about uh, default life cycle okay so these things you are seeing validate compile test package install and deploy these are default life cycle and how it works see if we run the command for validate which is like mvn validate so what it does it will validate if all the necessary files in your project is present or not okay mostly like uh, first thing that it will search it will see if pom file is there or not okay okay uh, or or then it will check if they are like java based project or something else okay then we have compile so what compile does compile life cycle what it does uh, also like whatever command in which order they are written what it does each command will run the previous all for example if i am running maven compile it will va run validate then it will compile okay so let's say i ran compile what compile will do it will uh, like uh, go through the project and see if there are any syntax based errors in your source code okay first it will validate if all the files are present or not then it will perform compilation and check for syntax based errors if no error is there it will success it will give you success okay next we have test so if you are having uh, like your uh, test cases you need test cases in your source code you can run the command mvn test okay and what it will it will do first it will validate as i mentioned previous commands are supposed to be run when whenever we run this commands okay so since i ran a test okay since i ran test command what it will do it will first validate then compile then it will perform uh, that it will run the test cases okay then we have package package what it does again it will run, first of all it will run previous three commands then it will package the application with the dependencies okay and the output that it generates it goes inside a target folder which i will show you okay and inside that target folder uh, uh, among other files there will be one file which will be the artifact which will be the format of jar file or var file okay and that is the main application okay so if you want to run the application we need to run that jar file okay that also i will show you in a minute okay then we have install again if you run the command for maven install it will run all these packages along all these like all these previous commands okay so uh, already like if we if if it is, it is running the package command it will generate the artifact and put it inside target folder okay but then what's new in install so in install what happens it will install that package in the local repository of uh, of your project okay and local repository if i show you i'll be showing you that as well so local repository is then is is in the name of dot m2 okay this folder basically this folder will be there and this folder is the local repository inside which our artifact will be installed okay so now you understand like uh, validate compile test package install so as i mentioned whenever we run these commands previous commands will also run so finally last command we have deploy okay so here from package if you see package creates the artifact 
put it inside target folder install what it does it put it installs the artifact inside local repository which is which is dot m2 repository but in case of deploy what it does it will also like uh, like create the artifact and it will put it or like push it on a third party repos artifact repository for example nexus in case you don't know what is nexus nexus is a, a tool which is basically a repository for artifacts you know like github is a repository for source code but nexus is a uh, repository for artifacts so using maven deploy command we can push our artifact which is the jar file to nexus okay okay then we have site lifecycle see uh, the when i said that we need to focus mostly on default lifecycle the reason i said that because site lifecycle you can see if here it generates project documentation and reports okay so that we are not so much interested in at this point okay so i hope you understand the default lifecycle because these are the commands which we are going to run along with clean clean uh, yeah clean also see uh, just to understand what exactly clean does if i run the command as maven clean what it will do it will de delete the build output folder okay so when we execute our uh, maven command it creates a new folder named target folder so if you run maven clean it will remove the target folder okay okay now coming to maven command example so you can see the commands that i just mentioned everything those are only written here okay also don't worry like uh, this will will be also available to you in github repository okay okay now let's come to the hands on part okay okay so as i have already mentioned to some of you who asked the prerequisite for this uh, learning so i just want you to have a free tier aws account you can create it for free and you get like free tier for one year which is like really useful even i use that okay so what we need to do here we will uh, we will log in and search for ec2 okay so ec2 and this page will be appearing to you so first of all let's open security groups see as of now i have created my own security group which is launch wizard dash 2 and here basically i have opened some some of the ports okay so these are the ports that i use and these are the ports that uh, required for me but for this uh, tutorial you just need one port which is like uh, uh, 8080 okay rest i think uh, 25443 these will be opened by default so you don't need to worry okay but still uh, if you don't have that you can see in default port everything is on so usually usually i don't use that okay in case you are new you can also open the port these ports you can just note down because these are the ones which we will be using in future as well okay and one thing that you need to know see here just one port open but in case you want to open a range of port you can just provide the range here okay and those ports uh, the ports inside that range will be open okay okay now next what we need to do is create a vm okay so for that you can either click on instance running or you can click on launch instance so let me click on it also most of you asked me like uh, if uh, we we can work with uh, t2 micro see the thing is t2 micro is very small machine let me just show you uh, yeah let me select ubuntu machine let's just give any name you want see ubuntu machine let me see two versions so you can see latest one is 22.04 one is 20.04 i usually go with this one because uh, last time when i was using 20.04 it was giving some problems so i would suggest you also use 20.04 okay selected okay now here instance type in here basically free tier eligibility is there for t2 micro okay which is free but my suggestion is that in case you want to run uh, more things bigger things then you can start with medium it's not it cost so much if you see here linux pricing you can see per hour is 0.0496 usd dollar which is not much you can use it for 3 4 hours and it will be charging you very less money so i think that much even you can invest for learning okay but still since uh, we are going to do very small thing we can use this one okay t2 is small just 2 gb memory one cpu and you can see cost is very less okay so let's select that and in case of yeah then coming for authentication we have key pair in case you are doing it for the first time you can click on create new key pair click on it select rsa pem file and provide any name you want and create when you click on create it will give you it will as like it will automatically download that pem file which you can use for you can use for authentication okay but in my case i have already downloaded that file with the name aditya so i will select that and here as i mentioned security group we will select launch wizard 2 okay 
and here storage you want so let's uh, take 10 10 gb okay okay and we can click on launch instance okay now coming the point where we need to access the uh, this application okay let me copy the ip address one second let me check mm -mm -mm -mm. to do small yeah this is the public ip address which i have copied okay next thing what i want to I want you to have is this tool mobile xterm install a portable version of it because a portable version it can be like shared to anyone and it can be like accessible very easily okay so once you install it let me show you how it looks just download it uh, if i go to downloads here mobile xterm let me delete these files see these many files will be there okay so you can just install it and you can double click on this e this exe file and it will open okay okay so now to connect to our vm which we have created we can click on session go to ssh provide the ip address which we copied and in case of ubuntu the uh, username is this one ubuntu okay then click on advanced ssh settings click on use private key from here we need to select the private key we just downloaded here you can see pam file click on open click on ok and if you see it you can see authenticating with public key and it got connected okay let me type the command con uh, control l to clear the screen okay now i will uh, become a root user sudo soup okay okay and you can see this is the folder structure of our vm okay if you want you can just rename it let's rename to something logical as server and you can even give customize the tab color okay okay so this is done okay now what I want uh, you to do is uh, you need to install Java and Maven on this machine okay for installing you can copy this command first we need to update the packages paste it and it will update the packages and meanwhile we can copy the second command which is the command to uh, install open jdk 11 because as you saw in my project pom file uh, jdk 11 is being used so i will install it okay paste it again here <sighs> meanwhile jdk is getting installed we can copy the maven command copy this and yeah let's see this will this is taking a little bit of time and you can see even cpu is going 100 percent the reason we are using a very small machine okay so but but you know this won't be working properly on micro so i'm as per my uh, thing and i have taken the least that could properly uh, do things okay yeah so install now we will install the last tool which is maven and let it complete once it completes we can check the versions okay so this is done again control l to clear the screen now if i run the command as java hyphen version okay you can see jdk 11 we have and if i run maven hyphen version okay you can see 3.6.3 again let's clear the screen control l okay now what i will do i will we want to build and execute this project okay so for uh, like getting it on our uh, one to machine i can copy the uh, url https url copy this and come here and here we will type the command as git clone we are creating a clone or a copy of that repository so we will write the command git clone and don't worry like git is automatically installed when we install this uh, java and Ma uh, maven okay now click enter okay you can see it downloaded if i run the command as ls you can see project is uh, created so to go inside the project we can write the command as uh, cd spring boot and the name of the project okay click enter let's clear the screen control l if i run ls command you will see two files just two files is there okay now what i want to show you is these files these commands okay okay so but make sure you remember the just two things are there pom and src folder nothing else right okay so the first command that i want to run is validate what it does it will validate and check if everything required for the java project is there or not so we can run it by running the command mvn validate click enter 
okay you can see you can ignore the warnings it's not a not an issue okay and you can see here build success because uh, everything is fine okay in the project okay so next next command that we can run mvn compile and as i mentioned mvn compile what it will do first it will validate the project then it will compile to check if there is any source code uh, syntax based errors in our source code okay so click enter and this should also start in a bit and you can see it started and it will compile the source code okay mm -mm -mm. and whatever these things you are seeing downloaded from central these are the ones these are the dependencies jar file basically which are required for the uh, for this application okay for building it okay and you can see these are the plugins these are plugins which perform a specific task okay let's scroll down to the end i think it's completed you can see compiling one source file to this one this one okay let me clear the screen if i run the command ls now you will see one extra folder created which is target and when we run when we execute a java based project using maven command whatever thing is create getting created using this uh, as a output it will be going into target folder if i go inside target folder now and let me show you you can see these are the things generated now classes generated maven status and generated generated sources okay now let's get out of it cd space double uh, dots okay so you can see as of now uh, three folders are there and we have ran we have compiled our source code okay next command we have package sorry test so if i run the command as maven test if there are test cases in our project they should run okay if not then let's see what happens okay so again it downloads see whenever we define something new it will download the dependencies running to it uh, required to it. and here you can see no test cases to run that is why it showed build, uh, build success in case test cases were there it will run and if the test cases are like uh, uh, like uh, successfully running then it will give the build success if not it will give uh, build failure okay okay next command we have is maven package so let's run that as well click enter and what it will do it will create the main artifact in the format of jar uh, that is packaged with all the dependencies okay <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Here you can see replacing main artifact with repackaged archive. Okay, let me clear the screen. If I run, uh, if I go to target folder now, click uh, right ls, and here if you see clearly, there is this artifact. This artifact is generated, and this is the main application, which we if we execute it, then application starts to run. Okay, which I will show you in a minute. Okay, next command which we have. Now you understand like what package does it creates the artifact put it inside target folder okay next command we have maven install if i run this command what will happen it will run previous all the commands okay one second build failure okay you know why it failed the builds because <coughs> i have always mentioned when we run maven command first thing that it does it search for pom file and you can see the current path uh, current folder inside which we are is target folder and inside target folder there is no pom file right so we need to come out of this target folder okay now we are inside our java project now if i run the command maven install click enter and now you can see it has started building the project okay and it will download uh, all the plugins and dependencies whichever is mentioned in our uh, what is that inside uh, our pom file it will download and then it will build the application okay now if you see here inside target folder it already generated the jar file but as i mentioned it will install the jar file inside the local repository and here if you see closely there is dot m2 folder inside dot m2 folder we have repository and inside it finally it uh, like installed the jar file right so now you understand what maven package will do what maven in, uh, install will do right one more command we have which is deploy but it won't work here because as of now we have not set up any third party uh, application for uh, like storing the artifact uh, artifacts okay that i will show you when i start teaching you nexus okay so no issues okay next uh, yeah last command i want to show you is maven clean 
let me first clear the screen if i run ls command you can see target folder is there but if i run maven clean what it does it will remove uh, completely that folder okay so yeah if i run ls now you can see folder is gone but uh, there is one more interesting thing in case we want to uh, create the uh, artifact each time new one so we can run clean package okay if i run the command as maven clean package what it will do first it will remove the previous target folder and using package it will generate a new one right okay so if i click enter it will as of now if there is no target folder no issues but in case there was target folder first it will delete that and then you using uh, package it will create a new artifact okay okay this is done now what i want to show you is how to execute a project java project okay so we have jar file right so we uh, to execute a uh, java based project what command we have we need to first of all know the location of uh, a jar file okay so as a, as of now we know that jar file is inside target folder right so we need to execute that jar file to run the application which we can do, we can do by running this command java make sure that you remember this command and don't forget it okay java hyphen jar then path of the artifact so it is inside target what is the name this one correct spring dash boot dot web dot jar if i click enter let's see what happens you can see it has started executing the application and and yeah here if you see a uh, last line which says started uh, start application is 5.45 seconds okay now how to access the application you can see it says tomcat started on port 8080 okay that means on a browser we need to put uh, the machine ip address on which we have run this command so in my case the ip address will be this one and port is 8080 okay so let's try to access the application that we can do if we go to instance details copy the ip address paste it here colon 8080 click enter okay and you can see this is a basic very simple static website which was the source code okay and you can see it is running fine it is like deployed and running fine right this is wrong uh, it was like written long ago so let it be okay so you understand the point how we use maven to build and execute or run an application okay and by default you can see this is basically running inside tomcat which whose tutorial i will show you in next video okay but now i think you understand the point how we can use maven to like use different things or different goals from maven lifecycle right okay so see this is temporary like this is i'm i'm executing it here this is temporary also one more thing i like the main point how i learned maven i want to tell you this command you are saying no matter if you are deploying an application using docker doesn't matter if you are deploying the application using kubernetes on the base level on the root level this is the command that ex is executing okay even with docker also this is the command that is getting executed in background to run the application even in kubernetes also this is what happens okay so the base command that is used for running or executing a java based application is this one we execute the jar file okay now to stop this application i can just press control c and you can see uh, shutting down okay now if we go back here and refresh the page the application it's it won't be coming okay okay so i hope you understood i hope you understood how like uh, java based application we can build using maven and what exactly is maven that also you understood also a little bit uh, like uh, info about maven and maven commands already here i will modify it little bit with little, little definition and real world real world scenarios and then i will add it to repository which you can access okay so really thanks for watching and let's see you in the next video so have a nice day